what's going on fellow collectors and uh, viewers from around the world thanks for tuning in if it's your first time uh, checking out my channel please click that subscribe button so i found this guy at my local ralph's and uh i know i've been eyeballing this car for some time now it was they were just hard to find and uh <laughs> surprisingly i found it in my ralph's so i ended up picking two of up two of them up just to uh have and one have one package and one just to talk about here's some information of the vehicle um and on behind and it, it is licensed by liberty walk um the reason why i got this one as well is because uh, it looks freaking darn awesome and i was just you know i wanted to compare these with my mini gt gtrs and uh i was shocked i was i was shockingly surprised how uh, close this is to 164 scale and i think it is true to 164 scale um because i was comparing it to the mini gt and i have two out here i have the pendum uh gtr and i have the i believe this is their fighter jet gtr this is one of their older mini gt uh gtrs that came out a while back and it's an exclusive to uh i forgot what country <laughs> but this green one here is hard to find um but I'll, I'll show you in a bit so uh i was doing some comparisons um with this guy um compared to the mini gts and um oh yeah they're just they're so close to 164 as far as the scale and um I might be wrong, but I think this is the first time in Hot Wheels history for a dollar car uh, of it having uh, livery decals and uh, detailed front and back lights as far as um, the tooling is concerned. Because usually with Hot Wheels for a dollar car, if you they have castings where they'll have the they'll have like the livery decals and uh, you won't get detail lights or uh, front lights. So it's either or. It's like without the livery, they'll give you uh, details for the headlights and details for the backlights. But uh, I was just surprised because they actually did everything on this car. They gave you back detail lights. They gave you front uh, lights. That I think they're part of the windshield. I think it's part of the windshield. Um, but it's still awesome. And so you get two features. You get that plus you get a, a 164 scaled car. Um, and uh, I think Hot Wheels nailed it with this one. And I hope they come out with more cars like this when it comes to uh, side, de side decals plus uh, uh, detail lights for the front and back, you know. But for a dollar car, you can't beat it. And uh, I was very happy with this purchase, you know, for a buck. So if you're out, if you're, if you're a GTR uh, diecast collector in 164, and you're still wondering if you should get this one because you're picky if if uh if it's gonna look bigger than your other gtr collection uh no this is actually on par when it comes to scale so uh i'm pretty happy with that so what i'm doing now is trying to put these two together to give you an idea of, of uh how it looks from the front and uh yeah they're they they it's right on it's right on scale uh, these two are yep you can, you can see from this side from that side from I, I faced them against each other and uh yeah this scale are so similar so yeah if you still if you see these in stores um get them or <laughs> get them like purchase them you know so don't steal never steal because there are people out there who steal and it makes us look bad as collectors because I'm sure a lot of you went to your local Walmarts and come across like empty empty packages because of people stealing and it just sucks. But yeah, anyways, I mean, if you see them, purchase them, you know, because this is a hot item, hot item for Hot Wheels. Um, so here, here are the three together. Uh, for a second, you can't tell if it's a Hot Wheel. You probably think it's a Mini GT. <laughs> but it's a Hot Wheel and Hot Wheels nailed it. Anyways, uh, just a quick little video on on this comparison just to see exactly uh, uh, what Hot Wheels did. But uh, thanks for visiting, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.